Hello everybody, Caden here today with another episode of Minecraft Dinosaurs. And today, um, like I said last episode, we are going to take a little break from building and digging and mining and building machines that don't work. Um, and we're actually just going to go and plan out the park because you guys have said you want new creatures. And I understand that. And you know what? What is this? What episode is this? Let me see. Where's my phone? There's my phone. This is episode 12. We've had 12 of these episodes. And it's probably been <laughs> like eight episodes since we got our last creature. Seven or eight episodes since we got our last creature. So you know what? I think we're about ready to start working on building the next exhibit. So today, the main objective is build a giant sky tower, look down from above, and get an idea for the lay of the land. Because, well, if we don't get an idea of the lay of the land, how are we going to build a park? Okay, this is triggering me. I need to move the bridge one block over, or just make it one block wider. Because I despise that the path is go moves one block like that. It's, it burns my eyes. Uh, that should be enough. I'm gonna cry if I fall. Ooh, ooh, actually, uh, we're at 23 levels, and I would love to get a Silk Touch pickaxe. Um, yeah, we only have one diamond. Two, three, one, two. Let's actually do a tiny bit of enchanting right at the beginning of the episode. Because why not? Um, man, it is... Oh, I need to move the archaeology workbench to the laboratory. Um, but man, it's weird. The house looks really empty now. I should make an alchemy room. That'd be kind of cool. An alchemy room, an enchanting room. I'll do that when I build the new house. Um, oh yeah, we don't need lapis. Uh, we'll just throw... Where's the torch? Throw the torch here. Uh, okay, we just need one book gone. Like that, and 22. Let's go! Efficiency three, dang it. <laughs> Aw, so many levels gone. Ooh, so I actually got some cool news. Um, and actually something I should say. So uh, this episode is literally being recorded right after the last episode was recorded. So I haven't done anything to fix the laboratory problems. But, uh, something, and this is really funny that I'm mentioning this now instead of last episode. I just completely blanked on it last episode. But uh, the fossils and archaeology team has been releasing a ton of new model pictures on their Twitter, uh, showing new creatures that will get added into the mod uh, in future updates. So far, we have Carnotaurus, Coelophysis, uh, Cryolophosaurus, Iguanodon, Obamadon, and Pladiosaurus. So, oh, and Dimetrodon as well. So, like, we've got a ton of new uh, Quetzal and Nyctosaurus. Okay, well, the Quetzal, the Nyctosaurus, and the Pladiosaurus and such. I already mentioned those ones before. But yeah, like there's a lot of new creatures being added and I'm really excited to see them. They're, it's gonna be really cool. The park is gonna get a ton of new animals added in. I'm really happy to see a new Hadrosaur, but also a new small carnivore in the form of Coelophysis. Man, I want a really big Coelophysis area because <laughs> I just realized, I was like, wait a second, what's that noise? <laughs> I don't know if you guys could hear my phone. I don't know why I started jumping out. I, I was drinking a glass of water. I literally couldn't have clicked my mouse. I'm sorry about my phone ringing. <laughs> I was like, what is that sound? Oh, we actually gotta turn the render distance up a bit. Uh, oh, why have I got on eight? I, I usually play on at least 16. And now we wait. Oh, that is terrifying. It's like playing Skyblock all over again. No caller ID. I'm going to turn my phone on silence because I just realized I shouldn't have it ringing in an episode. That's unprofessional. Okay, so there's Charlie. Hello, Charlie. If I fall, I die. <laughs> I mean, maybe I could jump to that water. Oh, no, there's water right there. I could easily survive. Okay, so as for a lay of the land, so there's the house. There's Cow Island, as I'm now dubbing it. What has it been? It's been Home Island, uh... Uh, Sturgeon Island, Bridge Island, Cow Island now. It'll probably be Cactus Island soon or something like that. Okay, so we have Charlie there. We've got the lab there. So 
I'll probably build, continue the path, connect it up to Charlie's exhibit, run it around by Charlie's exhibit, and then obviously connect it up to my laboratory. I have a cave system over there. So then there was the river. I am probably gonna fill both of the, all these little lakes here up. I've got a nice area here actually. So maybe, oh yeah, cause there's just a nice natural border right there. So maybe we can build an exhibit right there. It's pretty big, so maybe we could put a larger dinosaur or something in there. There's the dig site, which I haven't worked on in a little bit. Um, so yeah, I may dig up the path and redo it so that way I can uh, get into a bit of a better position. Um, so then we've got uh, that island in the middle of the lake, which we could do something with, definitely. We have a bridge going over there, I guess. And we have the mountain, but like, We've just got so much space to work with. We've got a ton of space going that way, a ton of space going that way. But yeah, from up here, I'm definitely thinking that could be an exhibit. It's already got the lake in there. We've got a good naturally defined back end of the exhibit. It fits with the general area. Uh, maybe we'll probably have a couple of exhibits over here, one, a couple over there, something like that. That cave could be really cool for something. I don't know what yet, but that could be cool for something. And we've got the, oh, that kind of looks like a, I was gonna say a horse, but it looks a bit more like a long, like the head, the face, the neck, front legs, really short bat leg, bat legs, back legs. So we've got Llama Island, Llama Land, um, <laughs> the lab. Yeah, I think we got some cool stuff we can do. So you, okay, so yeah, that's definitely a place where we're gonna put something. So I guess, suggestion for what we should put over here. Um, it's a decently sized exhibit, so the only things I would say we probably aren't gonna do are like the big three. T-Rex, Spinosaurus, Brachiosaurus. None of those are going there, don't even ask about it. But Stegosaurus, Triceratops, even Allosaurus, I would be more than willing to put in an area like this. Plenty of space for them. Um, oh, the mountains look so cool. I definitely want to do some exhibits right by the mountains. Maybe we could do an exhibit right in there at some point. I don't know what I'd want to put in there, but we could do something. We got a lot more space over here. Definitely going to have to clear down a couple, cut down a couple of hills. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, hill life. That's, it's tough. It's rough to build in the hills. We got mountains. We can build in the mountains. We got a lot of stuff we can work with. I think, though, I'm going to get down because this is scaring me a little bit. Ah, that's some good water. That's some good water. And actually, I was about to say the recording schedule changed, but you guys have probably already heard that by now because it'll probably have been in uh, Tuesday's video because, yeah, <laughs> oh boy. Uh, oh, yeah, I was saying maybe we get a new uh, Elasmatherium in the exhibit. Could, should we do that this episode? You know what? We could do that this episode. Yeah, why not? Why not get a new Elasmatherium in? I think that'd be pretty cool. Get uh, Charlie a little brother or sister. A new friend to hang out with. I mean, it must be somewhat lonely. Okay, and before anyone in the comments says it, yes, I know. Rhinos are typically solitary creatures. They do not live with many, if any, other rhinos. I don't care I'm putting another rhino in because I love rhinos. Rhinos are amazing. So yeah, that's my defense. And we have, oh yeah, we can actually use the laboratory. Yay, laboratory, laboratory. I need to get a silt touch pick, definitely. Or a silt touch shovel at least because I want to head out to the mycelium island at some point and uh, bring back some stuff. Uh, like a mushroom. I want to bring back a mushroom because that'd be kind of cool. And we will leave one Osmotherium DNA in there. Oop, we better sleep. Um, the reason being, I'm not going to put three in. I want just two. Also, keeping a third is a good idea for, as a uh, quote-unquote backup DNA. In case one of our Elasmotheriums dies, we will always have at least one DNA left. Now, I mean, obviously, if they do die and we make it there in time, we get the Elasmotherium... Uh, meat so we can analyze it to turn it into DNA, but I always like to keep at least one as backup in the event that I don't make it in time 
the Elasmatherium dies, I don't pick up the stuff, and then, you know, we're doomed. Because that's, that's never fun. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, I said I was going to work on a lot of stuff, actually. <laughs> I, I, I've said I'm going to work on a lot of things, and we will see yet what things get done as time goes on. I mean, what, we're only on episode 12? <laughs> I mean, I plan on doing 10 times that at a minimum. We will, then we are definitely going to make it to 120. I would like to make it to 300 episodes on this world. 300 episodes, guys. Which actually sounds crazy now that I think about it. We could actually play one of these music discs. Why not? Legend of the Scarab. Coolio. Can I hear anything? Ooh. Drums. Ooh. That's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> Stuff. You know, actually... Oh, whoops. <laughs> so you guys... That's actually quite loud. Um... Music and sounds. I'm gonna turn it down to that. No, that's actually still quite loud. You know what? Okay, I'll just talk over it. No, no. Too loud. <laughs> we'll listen to that some later time. Anyway, so you guys um, will remember, if you've been here for a little bit, you'll remember something. And that something would be, back in the day, I had an intro for the series that comprised of clips of the park and stuff. And some of you might be like, oh, you're not doing an intro anymore? There will be a video intro at some point, probably in about 50 episodes. And the reason I'm thinking of doing that is because by 50 episodes, we'll actually have a park that I can make an intro out of. Because I prefer to make the intro out of shots of the actual world and the park and stuff like that. But yeah. After about 50 episodes, we'll do that, and then I'm thinking every 50 episodes, we change it. But what I... I mean, I'll probably have to ask the mod developers about this. But, you know, that music is pretty good. I might see if I can use that for my for a potential intro later for the series, because I like that music. It sounds pretty cool. It sounds pretty cool and ominous, but, you know, not like... Not like, you know, Raptor's gonna eat your throat or something like that. Like, just kind of like a cool thing. Oh, it is going in. The potato just didn't go in. A lot of potatoes didn't go in. Oh, and plant fossils. Well, there we go. Okay, so it is working. Pottery shards. Ooh, actually, I want to see something. Uh, uh, fossil. Pottery shards. Uses. Oh, so we can actually make the pottery. Oh, that's cool. Wait, is there multiple ways of making something? Okay. Amorpha... Amphora? Is it a... Amphora. It's an amphora. Okay. Um, you know what? Why don't we make one? Yeah, why don't we make an amphora? Sounds like a pretty good idea to me. We wait for our little elasmatherium to finish. Like... Nope, that's a volute. Uh, how, how do I make the... Uh... Oh, it's just all on one side. I literally looked at it a minute ago. I really shouldn't have trouble with this, but I do. Oh, that's even that's cool. Um but we are going to need to put that into something. Something, 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 something. And that something would be a archaeology workbench. Right? Because there's the broken and then there's restored. Yep. And then we can paint them. How do I make the uh, porcelain? Oh, that's pretty easy. And I love how the porcelain one lurk lurks. It lurks good. <laughs> oh, people, people have told me multiple times throughout multiple worlds that I need to wear an ancient helmet and an ancient sword and start smacking pigs because it'll turn them into pigmen. I know that full well, and I don't want to do that because I don't want pigmen running around my world because they're very annoying and very hard to get, deal with. So, yeah. Have, I haven't made a paleo raffe tree yet. Oh my gosh, I haven't. Why haven't I made a paleo raffe? I need a paleo raffe tree. I'm going to put one up here. Um, I will 
need to do that at some point. We'll, we'll grab this. Oh, excuse me. Um, but we'll grab this and then we will do something. Oh, we'll uh, put it in. We'll set it to hatch uh, or be born. And then we will run over to the house, grab a paleographic sapling or two, and then we'll chuck them into the culture vats. Oh. <laughs> when you try your best, <laughs> oh man. Okay, I was I didn't think that system through very well. I will uh, I'll have to figure that out. I remember seeing um, some people. I I want to say it was Ironstone Mine. Made a really really good contraption for culture bats, so it like did things better. I might look that up on how to build that machine because. I seem to remember that machine actually worked correctly <laughs> and mine is a terrible, terrible idea that that definitely just shouldn't be built. Um, yeah, don't copy my uh, ideas cause for that because it's not a great one. Um, but what was I doing? I was... Uh, this. <laughs> I don't even know what sounds I was making. Sound like an alien. Spooky. Uh, let's grab that and we will head out. <laughs> weevil. <laughs> weevil. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing at the word weevil. It's an insect, isn't it? Yeah, weevils are like bugs or something. I don't know. Insects are not my forte, believe it or not. My forte is more prehistoric creatures such as mammals and pterosaurs and dinosaurs and other such saurian type things because they look cool. Uh, better, better, <laughs> and uh, hey, we'll get a failure plant out of this. That could be pretty cool. Yeah, that could be pretty sick. Good old failure plant. Good old Charlie running around. I want to see his uh, stats. He must be ecstatic. Ecstatic. Oh my gosh, this mob is happy. Like this guy is insane. He is like, oh my gosh, it's the best thing ever. I'm so happy. You're almost fully grown. Aw, you're so cute. Who's a cute little rhino? You're a cute little rhino. Very, well, not little. You're a cute rhino because rhino, yes. Oh boy. I'm th I've been thinking of ways to improve this exhibit. And I'm thinking the first one might be take out the grass wall, place it with a bit more of like a cobblestone, kind of like uh, British slash... Yeah, kind of like an old colonial or British style uh, cobblestone wall t fence type thing. You know, like you would see for like cattle or sheep. And then also throw in a uh, shelter, like a little bit of a lean to for them to sleep in. Because I think that would look kind of cool. Get it up! This fence, yeah, I, I need to build a better fence. This does not look like it would keep him in. It looks like it'll keep the baby ones in, but not the grown-ups, because good grief, you are a big rhino. I can be a rhino, too. It's just like, I'm not Oh, he disappeared. Yep, yep. Oh gosh, you charged me to eat grass. <laughs> He's eating a majority of the grass in this exhibit, which is good, which is good. You're very annoying. <laughs> oh, there's not a lot to do, is there? Um, I mean, I guess I could start taking out the back of the exhibit, but I don't want to do that right now. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh, I thought he was going to attack the sheep there. I was like, no, don't attack the sheep. I need that sheep to live. Uh, let's go actually see uh, the paleographe is done. No, there is a skeleton in my lab. And I think it spawned over here. Oh yeah, there's a seed embryo thing. That's cool. That's cool. I like that a lot. That looks cool. Um, let's just run back over here. And we'll watch the sunset. 
I have a feeling. Oh, uh, there's a bug in the older versions of the mod that used to frighten me whenever I would uh do uh ha ha um birth a mammal, and that was if the uh, host was out taken out of render distance, it deleted it. So like smilodons or something. It was either smilodons or mammoths I was trying to get, and I left the zone. And I lost them, and I was so upset by that because it was like my only versions of those DNAs, and I had put them all in, and I was like, "Oh, this will work fine," and I didn't realize that would happen, and I lost all of them because, yeah, and it was very upsetting and traumatizing. And no, this does not count as a new creature. We will still get another creature in like an episode or two. I think we'll shoot for episode fifteen. So this is episode twelve. So thirteen, we'll start breaking ground on the new exhibit, and four. So 13 and 14 will work on the exhibit, and then 15 we can get the new creature. So put it in the comments down below what you guys want to see. Um, like I said, anything the size of a triceratops or smaller. We can even put the woolly mammoth in if you guys wanted. I don't know if you act if I should, because I mean, kind of feel like we should build the mammoth exhibit somewhere by the mountains and where there's snow and where I can get snow. But uh, if you guys want to see it uh, down here. I can definitely do that. That would be not too hard to do. Oh, these take forever. Ah, I think I'm going to jump cut. So see you guys in two seconds when the creature is about to be born. Yay. Okay, we're back. And it should be just about to be born. 97%. There we go. 98. Shep, please move out of way. Get away from anything that might kill my baby Renew. And... <gasps> Yay! And it's a female! So, I guess aside from uh, giving me a new idea for a creature to put in, I guess we need a female rhinoceros name. So, uh, make sure to leave that in the comments below. So, yeah. I think that's about all we're gonna do today. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're looking forward to what we're doing next time, which should be breaking ground on a new exhibit, getting some stuff done and just generally having a good time. So until then, thank you all for watching, and until next time, see ya.